what's going on guys, welcome to the video. Uh, if you can't tell already, I feel like crap. Um, I'm going to the hospital as I said in my last video. And so this video is going to be about what I pack for the hospital. So you guys will get to see what the fun things are that I pack, what the necessities are, and then you know some of the tips that I might have for why you should pack certain stuff. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first things first. I typically will like make a little notepad on my phone. Um, if I know I'm gonna go in the hospital in a week or a few days or something like that, because when you're sick, you really don't think of everything, you know. Um, sometimes I don't know if you guys get like this, but you know, you get so sick and you just can't wait to get to the hospital, rest, feel better, uh, things like that. So it's hard to remember everything. So over the days, I know I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'll make little notes on my phone on what I need to bring, kind of make a um, a checklist, and um, that way when it comes time to pack for the hospital. I will have everything right there that I need. Now, um, today's Wednesday, and I was supposed to go to the hospital on Thursday, but as you can tell, my breathing's pretty bad today. Um, I woke up, felt awful, called into work, and just said, you know, screw it, I'm gonna go in today. Um, there's no reason to put off another day, and especially when I feel this bad. So, I don't have my checklist, because I was gonna do that today. Um, so I'm gonna try to wing it. I'm staying, I know I'm staying tonight, obviously, through next Tuesday. Um, hopefully if things go well, I'll get released next Tuesday on home IVs. Um, so that is one night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, and then Tuesday I'll be going home. So that's six nights, seven days. So I need to remember that many clothes. Um, and then I take my bathroom necessities, um, you know, like soap and stuff. I don't like to use the hospital soap um, and like their shampoo and all that. So I take my own shampoo, my own soap. Um, I take, you know, obviously sweatpants, a lot of comfy clothes. Um, and then this time I'm going to be working every day still. So I'm going to take an extra monitor, my computer, my little, you know, technical gadget stuff to uh, help me work and um, stay occupied. I normally take my Xbox. Um, I haven't been playing Xbox lately since I started working. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna bring that or not. Here's Jenny, and oh, she's gonna help me breathe. pack a little bit because I can't breathe. Sorry. All right, ready to get started, Jenny? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. I'm gonna miss Ralphie. I'm the one going to the hospital, Ralphie. and she misses Ralphie. Oh well, I'll be there most of the time. Ralphie won't. We'll see. All right, guys, shirts have been packed. Um, I got seven t-shirts and I got, um, I always have my hospital shirts, so the ones that like I don't really care about that much, just kind of older shirts. Um, it doesn't matter too much now because I dress up for work, so, um, I don't really wear a lot of my shirts anyway, my t-shirts now. But anyway, seven t-shirts, um, I got two pairs of gym shorts here, plus the ones I have on, um, two pairs of sweatpants. And, you know, I'm only going for hopefully five days, six days, but um, I don't know for sure because what if I don't improve? Um, you know, you never really know. But also, Jenny is able to come visit me a few days. Um, it depends on how much she misses Ralph, if she's going to actually come visit or not. So, <laughs> so uh, if I do need more clothes, you know, she can always help out and bring me whatever I need. So, I got my clothes packed. Uh, besides, obviously, my underoos and my socks. Um, and then, I have my exercise band. So, this is, I think it's 10 pounds of resistance. Um, yeah, yeah, 10 pounds of resistance. And the reason that is, is because I've been told by the pick line team and radiology team that when you have a pick line in, you're not supposed to lift more than 10 pounds. Reason being, um, with whatever arm you have that in, reason being, is because your veins, when you contract that muscle, can scrunch up, and when they do, it can rub on that pick line, and then you can really damage that vein, um, or you have to get another pick line, or it might get stuck in there, things like that. So, uh, no more than 10 pounds. So I was sure a while back, which I haven't got to use yet um, in the hospital, but to get this 10 pound resistant band. So this, I'll show you guys, I'm in the hospital how I use it, but, uh, you can do curls with it and um, you know crunches and, and 
tricep extensions, all that kind of stuff, um, you can do with this. And obviously it's not that much weight, but um, a little bit is better than none. And of course, if I'm trying to get out in five or six days, I'm gonna try to do as much exercising as I can um, as soon as I feel a little bit better. So, um, yeah. So if you guys don't have one, you should probably look into maybe getting a, uh, a mat, which I might take Jenny's yoga mat. But uh, get a mat and you know a band or something like this to uh, help you guys exercise while you're in the hospital and have nothing to do and feel better. So, all right, what's next? Um, probably the fun stuff. So I'm gonna go get that. All right, I'm getting towards the end of the upstairs packing. Um, I went ahead and got my big external monitor to take so I can get my work done while I'm there. Uh, bathroom essentials. So like I said, I have my razor, which I lost my charger for. I'm kind of bummed out about. But um, I have my razor. I have a little mini bottle of shampoo. Um, I have my toothbrush, uh, floss stuff, hair gel, just in case I decide to look spiffy for Ginny. No comment. There it was. Um, cologne. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I did bring toothpaste in my toothbrush, so that's always good. Uh, sometimes I try to use mayonnaise in the past and it never worked out well. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to go downstairs, um, show you guys what I'm going to pack in my backpack. And my backpack has all my my secret stuff. Um, I used to get in trouble for it at the old hospitals. And then my um, computer and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll head downstairs, pack that stuff, and then I will be done and we'll hit the road. Right. Okay, guys. So, I actually got a phone call when we were leaving that lasted a long time. So I actually could not finish this packing video. Um, so, the only thing I had left to show you guys was what I take in my backpack. Um, let's see, so, so far in my suitcase, I have all my clothes, so my comfy sweatpants, my shirts, um, socks, underoos. Uh, dang, I forgot my freaking, no I didn't, I didn't. What? Ah, my house slippers. Mm. I'm big on my house slippers. Um, anyway, so I got all that. I got my bathroom essentials, which I don't have my shaving um, razors charger, so I might get a little fuzzy while we're in there. Um, and then the last thing I had to show you guys was my backpack. Um, I did have my external monitor in my suitcase, and that's it. Um, so I am bringing or can be on this trip because we're gonna try to start it uh, I think while I'm in the hospital I have one pill a day at a time So that's one fourth of the dose I think and then if that goes okay And you know, I don't have to try to tight of chest and stuff like that uh, We'll go ahead and up the dose slowly week by week um, Jenny's driving so I can get some stuff done and breathe um, All right, so backpack so in my backpack, whenever I go to the hospital, I always take, of course, my laptop. And um, I'm just taking my work laptop this time. I'm not gonna take my personal one because, um, you know, I, I pretty much do everything, everything on my work laptop that I could do on my personal one. Um, and I don't wanna carry two computers with me. So then, aside from the laptop, I brought the iPad as well. So the iPad is something that we always carry, especially to the hospital, because um, if we watch movies or anything like that, then I can hook this thing up to the TV. Um, I have a extension cable in here to where I can hook the iPad up to the TV. We can watch any movies on the TV in the hospital room without having to worry about a DVD player or anything like that. So next pocket over here, I did bring a few oils just in case. I brought lavender in case I need some help sleeping. Um, you know, as I said, I am working this trip, so I can't really just take a lot of sleeping drugs and just be knocked out the whole next day. Uh, I might have to be available for meetings and stuff like that. So I brought frankincense as well, immunity boosting, um, brought thyme. This is supposed to help with pseudomonas. And then if I have any headaches or pain, I brought peppermint um, in case I need that. So. I'm not sure I'll actually use these, um, and the reason being is sometimes I went to the hospital, I would bring my oils, and sometimes I didn't, and it's one of those things where the oils are supposed to help 
maximize the effects of antibiotics, but at the same time, I'm already getting heavy duty antibiotics. So like, do I really want to possibly waste using my oils? And at the same time, if bacteria does build up resistance to oils, even though they're so complex, apparently that's very hard to do, um, I don't want to keep using the oils if I don't have to and have my bacteria build resistance, right? So that's why I didn't bring them this time. I, maybe a good idea, maybe a bad idea, I don't know. Um, so aside from that, um, I have my pocket over here, which is just my glasses. Uh, I have my sunglasses over here. And then in this big old pocket, of course, all the charging stuff, the screen wipes. Um, down there, you see my little stylus for when I draw on my iPad, like caricatures and stuff. Uh, my other pair of glasses, I haven't shown you guys yet, a new pair. Um, external hard drive, so this is all my video editing right here. Um, so, brought that so I can edit and put videos up for you guys while I'm in the hospital. And that's pretty much it. Um, so this pocket, of course, all the pins. The Vogue mask, so I will be wearing my mask the whole time I'm in the hospital. Then you have to leave the room, you have to wear a mask. Um, so I brought that. Um, and then down here, uh, headphones, of course, I need headphones for the hospital. But uh, down here, I have ibuprofen here, and next to it, I have my uh, Creon. And so you're not supposed to bring ibuprofen or Creon in the hospital and take it yourself. You're supposed to tell the nurse every single time you want Creon, every single time you need ibuprofen, Tylenol for pain or whatever it may be. But uh, yeah. I've learned and Jenny's learned from experience that that's not a good thing to rely on. Um, especially when you're first admitted and they're getting to know you or they're trying to build up trust or whatever it is or they don't have your orders in. You have a headache, sinus headache, you feel like crap, chills, whatever it may be, it could literally be hours until you're able to get one freaking pill of Tylenol and ibuprofen. And a Creon. And then, yeah, same with Creon. So this hospital, I've been told, you can kind of have your Creon at the bedside um, and dose yourself, so that's good. But other hospitals, it's been completely opposite. You have to ask to get Creon, which is enzymes. And as you guys know, we can't eat without enzymes, so, I've had it before where I would get admitted and it doesn't matter how hungry I am or anything like that, can't eat for hours because I don't even, I can't have enzymes because the doctor hasn't put the order in for them yet. So that's so annoying, especially if you go late at night because then, you know, everyone's gone home for the day in the hospital. It's even harder to get orders done for you. Um, anyway, so tips for you guys is always bring your ibuprofen, Tylenol, whatever you guys like using always bring enzymes. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it guys. I did not bring my Xbox because I want to get a lot of work done and when I am bored, I really want to either just chill out and watch TV or I want to go um, do a lot of exercising to get my lungs better faster. Now I know if I would have brought my video games, I haven't played them in a long time, but I'm sure they probably would distract me pretty easily. So um, anyway, that's it. You guys saw everything. Oh. The one thing I brought that I'm pretty excited about that I can't ever really use for any good reason unless I'm going to the hospital. And that's the hoverboard. Ginny didn't like that idea, but I I'm thrilled. Stupid. You're probably gonna fall and get a concussion and they're gonna be pissed at you. I mean, worst case scenario, I get hurt on it, right? And I'm at the right place to be, so. Mm. Anyway, my battery's almost dying, guys. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. You guys saw everything I packed for the hospital. That's why I normally take. Like I said, I was kind of in a rush this time, so didn't have my to-do list and everything like that that I normally would. But uh, I think I remembered everything. So if you liked the video, go ahead and like down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will be making more videos here shortly of what I do when I'm in the hospital and how things are going and hopefully filming my pick line and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.